Welcome to the rising 7th and rising 8th grade middle school course planning presentation. Through this presentation, the school counseling team will be sharing information about school counseling, scheduling, required 7th and 8th grade courses, electives, and additional supports offered to all middle school students. School counseling services are available to all students and include classroom counseling lessons, individual counseling sessions, small group counseling, crisis response, individual student planning, collaboration, consultation, referrals to community resources as needed, and parent workshops on a variety of topics. As we look ahead to the next school year, you will notice that there are many upcoming opportunities to participate in the transition process from one grade to the next. Throughout January and February, middle school counselors will be visiting classes to provide instruction on the course planning process. Middle school open house will be scheduled for late August of 2022, and back to school night will take place in September of 2022. Specific dates will be determined after the final approval of the 2022-2023 academic calendar. Next, we will begin reviewing the required courses for middle school students. These are courses all 7th and 8th graders must take. Students will be enrolled automatically in their math, science, social studies, and health and PE courses. For specific questions related to your student's course placement, please contact your student's current content teacher. Located on the WJCC Schools website is the program of studies for next school year. All information for each course, including prerequisites, is available in the Program of Studies. We encourage you to take the time to review it as it covers everything discussed in detail. All students are required to take an English Language Arts course. Students have the option to request either English or Honors English. If you are curious about which placement would be most appropriate for your student, please talk to your student's current English teacher. In grade level English, students will focus on communication, reading, writing, research, and further develop their listening and oral communication skills. In Honors English, the content is the same, but the class is taught at an accelerated pace and at advanced level of complexity. Students who have an IEP will be placed in an English course according to services identified in their IEP. All seventh grade students are also required to take math, science, social studies, and health and physical education courses. In math, in seventh grade, there are three levels, pre-algebra seven, pre-algebra eight, and algebra one for high school credit. Students taking algebra one in the seventh grade have been previously identified through the gifted identification process. If you are curious about your student's math placement, please contact their current math teacher. In seventh grade, students take the life science course. Life science standards emphasize a more complex understanding of change, cycles, patterns, and relationships in the living world. All students will take the same level science course. In seventh grade, students take United States history and cover topics and events beginning in 1865 and going through present day. Students who are identified as gifted will automatically be placed in gifted history. In health and physical education in seventh grade, students take this course for one class period every other day and will rotate through physical education units and health units. In eighth grade, there are three levels of math, pre-algebra eight, algebra one, and geometry. Algebra one and geometry both carry a high school credit. Students taking geometry in the eighth grade have been previously identified through the gifted identification process and have successfully completed algebra one. If you are curious about your student's math placement, please contact their current math teacher. In eighth grade, students take the physical science course. In this course, students will become actively acquainted with two of the physical sciences, chemistry and physics. All students will take the same level science course. 
In eighth grade, students take civics and economics as their social studies course. Through this course, students will conduct a focused, in-depth investigation of the structures and functions of America's government and economic systems. Students explore the characteristics of government at the federal, state, and local levels. Students who are identified as gifted will automatically be placed in gifted history. Eighth grade students have health and physical education for one class period every other day and will rotate through physical education units and health units. The middle school math sequence is shared on the screen before you. Students who took pre-algebra 6 in 6th grade will either move on to pre-algebra 7 in 7th grade, followed by pre-algebra 8 in 8th grade, or they will take pre-algebra 8 in 7th grade, followed by algebra 1 in 8th grade. Students who took pre-algebra 7 in 6th grade will move on to algebra 1 in 7th grade, followed by geometry in 8th grade. If you have questions about your student's math placement, please contact their current math teacher. Elective courses are an area where students have a variety of options to select from to explore their interests and goals further. Elective courses will be broken down by grade level, beginning with options for 7th graders. 7th grade students will select three courses as well as an alternate or backup elective course. First, students may select beginning band 7 or band 7. These band courses will include brass, woodwinds, and percussion instruments. Beginning band is available for beginning band students and band 7 is available for those students who are continuing their band instruction from 6th grade or students who are currently playing their instrument outside of school and wish to audition with the band teacher. Next, we have beginning orchestra and orchestra seven. These classes include the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. Beginning musicians would select beginning orchestra seven, and those who are continuing their orchestra experience from sixth grade would select orchestra seven. Additionally, Orchestra 7 is available for students who play one of these stringed instruments outside of school and are interested in auditioning with the orchestra teacher. For both band and orchestra, 7th grade will be the last opportunity students have to begin an instrument in school. Next, we have Beginning Choir 7, which is an exploratory choir class for students who did not take choir in 6th grade. This course will help students develop choral skills, including singing in unison and harmony, with an emphasis on vocal production and technique. Students will explore and perform music in a variety of music styles. Students who took choir in sixth grade and want to continue the development of vocal production techniques and ensemble participation are able to select Choir 7 as an elective. This course will allow students to expand their performance abilities and creativity. Next, we have exploration of guitar and keyboard. In this course, students will learn basic and intermediate techniques, reading, progressions, and music theory through experiences with the guitar, keyboard, and other instruments. Students may only take this course in either their seventh grade or their eighth grade year. Next, students may select Art 7 as an elective. In this class, students will focus on visual communication, design principles, and drawing. Theater Arts 7 is also available for students. This course focuses on the acting skills necessary to communicate a story and character to an audience. The culmination of this course may be a public performance. In the Inventions and Innovations Technology course, students will make models of significant inventions that have advanced society. After studying these developments, students will explore contemporary technological problems facing them, their community, or the world, and apply a systemic procedure to invent new products or in innovations as solutions. In the seventh grade, students have the opportunity to begin taking a world language through level one sequence one courses. This is part one of a two-part high school credit bearing course. 
successful completion of both the 7th grade sequence 1 and the 8th grade sequence 2 course is the equivalent of one full year of high school level 1 world language and will appear on their high school transcript. The emphasis is on comprehension, listening, and speaking skills. Students may select from French, German, Spanish, or Latin. Again, rising seventh grade students will select three of these courses as well as one alternate or backup course. Now we will discuss the elective options for eighth grade students. In eighth grade, students have the option of following two different pathways for selecting their electives. We will first focus on the top portion of this slide. The first option available for students to select from is Band 8, which includes brass, woodwinds, and percussion instruments. Band 8 has a required prerequisite of Band 7. The next available option is Orchestra 8, which includes the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. This course has a required prerequisite of Orchestra 7. Also available is exploration of guitar and keyboard. As previously shared, in this course, students will learn basic and intermediate techniques, reading pro progressions and music theory through experiences with the guitar, keyboard, and other instruments. Students who took this course in seventh grade are not eligible to take this course again in eighth grade. Next, we have beginning choir and choir eight. Beginning choir will be for students who have not previously taken a choir class in middle school. Choir 8 is an intermediate level course building upon the skills and knowledge acquired in previous choir classes. Next, students may select Art 8 as an elective. In this class, students will continue to explore the elements and principles of design. This course is available to all students whether they have previously taken an art class or not. Technological Systems is the eighth grade technology course where students will combine resources and techniques to create systems, attain comprehension of how technological systems work. Students will also explore, design, analyze, and evaluate technological systems. Some example activities in this course are building model race cars, robotics, and working with computers. Theater production and advanced theater production are also available for students to select. In theater production, students will build ensemble skills, focus on psychological and emotional dimensions of characters, perform scripted works, and explore theatrical design concepts. Theater production is available to all students, even if they have not taken a theater course previously in middle school. Advanced theater production will help students refine their analytical, collaborative, problem-solving, and critical thinking skills to make artistic decisions and present a unified production. This course has a required prerequisite of Theater Art 7. The final option in the first 8th grade pathway for electives is World Language Level 1, Sequence 2. This is the second part of the two-part high school credit bearing course. Students must have successfully completed Level 1 Sequence 1 in their selected language in order to take Level 1 Sequence 2. Successful completion of both the 7th grade Sequence 1 and the 8th grade Sequence 2 course is the equivalent of one full year of high school Level 1 world language and will appear on their high school transcript. The emphasis is on comprehension, listening, and speaking skills. Students will continue their instruction in either French, German, Spanish, or Latin. The second elective pathway available to rising eighth grade students allows students to select one world language level one course and one elective from the previously described list. The world language level one options available to students are Spanish one, Latin one, French one, and German one. This course is a year-long course and will meet every day. Again, there are two pathways for rising eighth grade students when selecting electives. The first pathway allows students to select three courses and one alternate, 
or backup course. <clears throat> and the second pathway allows students to select one World Language Level 1 course and one elective from the above list. Students who select the second pathway are also required to select an alternate or backup course. As a reminder, in the coming weeks, school counselors will be meeting with rising eighth grade students to assist in making these selections. All of our WJCC middle schools offer additional supports to help our students reach their full potential. One example is academic interventions from teachers, math specialists, and reading specialists to help students progress in the curriculum. Also available to students is our gifted program. The gifted education program serves identified academically gifted students in specific content areas of study. The student's academic needs are addressed through all classes by using differentiated curriculum and instructional strategies that are appropriate for gifted and advanced learners. Additionally, we have English language learner or EL services in each of our middle schools. These services are developed based on individual student needs and additional supports are provided for students throughout their coursework. Students with an Individualized Education Program, or IEP, receive special education services. Families should talk with their current IEP case manager with any questions related to their IEP. Each middle school also has their own school-wide multi-tiered systems of support program to support students academically, socially, and behaviorally. Finally, each middle school has a school counseling team that implements a comprehensive school counseling program focused on academic achievement, college and career readiness, and social and emotional development to support all students. Student input is instrumental in creating a school's master schedule each year. Starting in January, students will choose courses based on their academic, personal, and career goals. These requests inform WJCC to create a master schedule so students can take classes of interest to them and then hire staff based on student choice. Students then take their courses the following school year. As we wrap up this presentation, we encourage you to familiarize yourself with the WJCC Program of Studies, which is available on the WJCC Schools website and read through the middle school program section as well as the middle school course description section to gain a better understanding of all options available. Beginning in January, middle school counselors will visit classrooms and work with students to complete the course registration process. Students will work with their school counselor to complete their course requests, which is available to be viewed through parent view. Parents and guardians with questions or requests to make a change to the selection should work with their school counselor for assistance. As a reminder, all seventh and eighth grade students are required to take English, math, science, social studies, and health and PE. Finally, for rising seventh graders, it is important to be aware of the Tdap vaccine requirement. The state of Virginia requires the Tdap vaccine prior to entering the seventh grade. We encourage families to speak with their doctor with any questions. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation for rising seventh and rising eighth grade course planning. If you have any questions, please submit them through the Middle School Curriculum Fair question portal provided on the WJCC Schools website and the Family Newsletter. You may also contact your school counselor for additional assistance. Thank you for your time.